In around 1924, the Magnolia Heights Fire Company built a new firehouse at their Park Avenue location. At that time, the firehouse doubled as a community Sunday school until the church was built next door. In 1929, Magnolia Heights Civic Association, made up mostly of firemen, were responsible for the incorporation of the borough of Somerdale. As members of the Magnolia Heights Civic Association, many of the firemen formed the first mayor and council. Fire protection in what is now the borough of Somerdale began as the goal of two civic associations formed in the area of Clementon Township. The Magnolia Heights Civic Association Improvement Association incorporated in 1923 and the Somerdale Civic Improvement Association incorporated in 1919. They were created by the residents of their respective villages. The physically separate Magnolia Heights subdivision formed one association, and the new Crestwood subdivision residents with the adjoining Crossroads community of Somerdale formed the other. Somerdale was the name given to the Atlantic City Railroad and Trolley Stop. The Laurel Springs Water Supply Company ran a six inch water main up to the Whitehorse Pike to Magnolia in 1909 and 1921, which made growth in the area a possibility. Four six-inch branch mains additionally served the present area of Somerdale. Fire hydrants were installed every few hundred feet along those mains. The grand opening of the concrete-paved Whitehorse Pike on November 4, 1922 further helped to open the area. In February of 1924, the Magnolia Heights Improvement Association purchased a motorized chemical fire apparatus on a 1922 Model T chain drive truck chassis, the Scatter Bolt. The Somerdale Improvement Association was able to purchase a new American LaFrance chemical engine mounted on a Brockway Type 3 chassis, all from donations. The national economy was rolling along and everything seemed possible in the mid-1920s. It was in this era that the fire companies were formally incorporated into the township of Clementon. There has always been the question of who formed the first fire company. Records do not make it clear. Due to the stock market crash of October 29, 1929, positive growth in the area slowed to a crawl, then stopped economic survival of the fire companies was now at stake. In the next three years, financial hardships abound. The Magnolia Heights Civic Association turned its responsibility for the mortgage and the building to the Magnolia Heights Fire Company. On July 16, 1933, at about 3.05 a.m., an alarm sounded. The Somerdale Fire Station is on fire. With heroic efforts by firemen from both companies, the fire trucks are pulled out of the building, put into action, and the building is saved with help from the Stratford, Kirkwood, and Laurel Springs Fire Companies. December 7, 1941, the attack on Pearl Harbor brought about many changes. Many of the young and single members of the fire department joined the military in the next few weeks. About January 14, 1942, the sudden shift of available manpower takes its first blow. The manual Stoke fire at the Magnolia Heights Fire Company was unattended and went out. For the next three and a half years, many local companies had to make do with a few young boys and older men. Magnolia Heights had equipment and manpower problems, which put it out of service at times. Most meetings of the Somerdale Fire Company barely had 10 men present. The 1950s continued the building boom of new homes, a new school, a new church, what was Our Lady of Grace, and roads. The fire companies each have a building boom of their own. Firemen learned to become bricklayers, carpenters, roofers, and plumbers in addition to their full-time jobs, fire calls, fundraising, fire drills, and families. Eventually, the suggestion of consolidating the two fire companies was openly brought up first by Mayor Holloway and Council, and then under Mayor Pesinante. Mayor Pesinante formed a Fire Department Consolidation Committee made up of two members of each fire company, two members of Council, and the Mayor to work out all the details. 
At the end of 1997, the last of the work on the new fire department constitution and bylaws was being finalized. The new Somerdale Fire Department Incorporated Constitution and Bylaws was passed in February 1998 by the volunteer members of both fire companies. On March 13, 1998, the state of New Jersey recognized the Magnolia Heights Volunteer Fire Company and the Somerdale Fire Company as being consolidated into a single corporate organization. Today, the Somerdale Fire Department boasts a record number of volunteers, the latest equipment and technology, and is considered one of the premier volunteer fire organizations in the region. They continue to serve the residents of Somerdale, as well as the surrounding communities, and look forward to doing so for many years to come.